a scientist has made an incredible discovery, the first signs of life on the exoplanet K2-18b using the James Webb Space Telescope. The fascinating details of this study reveal, for the first time, what the living conditions on this distant world are really like. Large quantities of water and gases, which clearly originate from life forms on Earth, paint a crazy and fascinating picture of a distant world. Thanks to the precise analyses of the James Webb Telescope, it is as if we were studying an extraterrestrial bio-system up close for the first time. But what did we really discover there, and what details shocked the scientists? The exoplanet K2-18b was discovered many years ago by the Hubble Space Telescope, but Hubble had its weaknesses. The old space telescope was unable to provide us with details about distant worlds. Now, with James Webb, a new era of exoplanet research has dawned, and for the first time, we have real data and evidence of what is really going on at K2-18b. Webb spectrometer analyses reveal every little detail. We know that this planet, 120 light-years from Earth, lies within the habitable zone of its star and that it's about 8.6 times the size of Earth. We also know that K2-18b has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, which makes it a particularly interesting object for research. K2-18b is a Hycean world. This completely new category of exoplanets represents rich water worlds, and these planets may be far more suitable for life than our Earth. Predominantly covered by water with tropical temperatures and perhaps some land masses, these planets could harbor an incredible diversity of life. For a long time, these ideas were just speculation, but now a scientist has proven that life can exist there. K2-18b has biomarkers discovered in its atmosphere, and it sounds amazing. For the first time, we know for sure of a planet with so many biomarkers found in its environment that life on this world can be considered almost certain. James Webb's spectrometer analysis showed evidence of methane. Methane is particularly interesting because it typically persists in atmospheres for no more than two to three years before it is broken down by solar radiation. This suggests that there is a source that continuously replenishes the methane in the atmosphere of K2-18b, which in turn raises the intriguing question of who or what is producing this methane. This gas is a biomarker because it is predominantly produced by living organisms on Earth. Living methane sources on Earth are mainly methanogenic bacteria, which live in oxygen-free environments such as swamps, bogs, rice fields, and the gastrointestinal tracts of ruminants. These bacteria decompose organic material in the absence of oxygen and produce methane as a byproduct. Termites also harbor methanogenic microorganisms in their digestive tracts, which produce methane as a byproduct of the digestion of wood and other plant materials. Cattle, sheep, goats, and other herbivorous animals such as deer and camels contribute to methane production through similar digestive processes. Other major sources of methane are wetlands such as swamps, bogs, and rice paddies. Anaerobic decomposition by methanogenic microorganisms that release methane also takes place in the sediments of lakes, rivers, and oceans, and there are probably large deposits of methane hydrate in deep ocean sediments. Methane is therefore a gas of life, and yet it does not necessarily have to be proof of life. As we know, there are also large quantities of methane on Saturn's moon Titan, for example, which originates from liquid cycles there. However, no evidence of life has yet been found on Titan. Compared to K2-18b, Titan is also a dark and cold world, and it lacks water. On K2-18b, water may even predominate, and methane seems to be only a byproduct. Another fascinating find was the potential discovery of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS for short, on K2-18b. This gas, which is toxic in large quantities, is produced on Earth by certain algae in the oceans. It is therefore another important biomarker, and whenever it appears together with water and methane, the probability of life is always greater. DMS is mainly produced on Earth by biological processes. The most important sources are marine phytoplankton species and certain algae. These algae produce dimethylsulfonia propionate, which is broken down to DMS by decomposition processes involving bacteria. In coastal ecosystems such as salt marshes and mangrove areas, microorganisms decompose organic material and release DMS in the process. 
grasses in salt marshes have been found to emit DMS, and certain lichens and mosses that grow in coastal regions also produce DMS. This shows very well how much the production of DMS on Earth depends on biological activities, and these processes almost always take place in coastal habitats. If DMS is found on a water planet, there is an obvious link to possible coastal habitats, plant growth, and at least the presence of simple organisms such as bacteria and microbes. In addition to these discoveries, Webb's analysis of K2-18BS atmosphere revealed an abundance of carbon dioxide and the complete absence of carbon monoxide, which also has interesting parallels to Earth's atmosphere. These chemical signatures could further indicate processes associated with biological activity. On Earth, for example, photosynthesis converts carbon dioxide into oxygen, respiration by microorganisms releases carbon dioxide, and methanogenesis produces methane under anaerobic conditions. The data from the James Webb Telescope also indicate that K2-18b has a thick hydrogen atmosphere. This type of environment favors water that is slightly warmer than on Earth and increases the possibility of life-friendly conditions. How will we succeed in detecting real life on K2-18b? Wouldn't it be fantastic if we now had real evidence of life on this exoplanet? Proving life on K2-18b would be a monumental shift in our understanding of the universe. Scientists want to do just that. The first step would be to conduct further detailed spectroscopic analyses of K2-18b's atmosphere with the James Webb Space Telescope, and we would need further technological innovations for the accurate detection of life. Initial analyses could help us to identify further and even more specific biosignatures, such as seasonal differences and movements in methane, oxygen, and DMS levels. We would have to use simulations to calculate which forms of life would fit the gas spectrum of K2-18b. To do this, it would be necessary to better study corresponding emissions on Earth and then determine suitable profiles. Computers could easily match these profiles with the gas combinations on K2-18b. In conclusion, the discovery of life on K2-18b using the James Webb Space Telescope is a groundbreaking achievement. The presence of water, methane, and dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere of this distant exoplanet suggests that it could harbor life. While there are still many questions to be answered, the potential for discovering life on K2-18b opens up exciting possibilities for future research and exploration. As we continue to study this fascinating world, we may gain new insights into the nature of life beyond Earth and our place in the universe. K2-18b is a fascinating exoplanet that offers incredible potential for the discovery of extraterrestrial life. By employing various scientific techniques, such as spectroscopy and transit photometry, researchers can delve into the chemical composition and dynamics of K2-18b's atmosphere. Transit photometry, for instance, measures tiny changes in a star's light as a planet passes in front of it. This method can provide valuable data on seasonal changes or climatic patterns, which in turn offer clues to biological activity. Future telescopes equipped with even finer sensors could penetrate deeper into the atmospheres of water worlds like K2-18b, yielding more comprehensive data from deeper layers. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents a significant advancement in this field, and soon, the extremely large telescope and the 30-meter telescope will provide even more detailed data. As our telescopes continue to improve, we can hope for increasingly detailed information about distant worlds. One exciting possibility for the future is the development of space probes that could be sent directly to K2-18b. These probes could carry advanced instruments to collect and analyze samples from the atmosphere and possibly the planet's surface. However, at a distance of 120 light-years, such missions would take an extremely long time. If we could one day accelerate probes to the speed of light or faster, these missions would become conceivable. Until then, we can only simulate the environmental conditions of K2-18b in laboratories on Earth. By recreating the temperature, pressure, and chemical composition of its atmosphere, scientists can determine whether known terrestrial microorganisms could survive and possibly thrive under these conditions. Such experiments could provide further exciting clues about the kinds of life that might exist on K2-18b and how they might have adapted to the environmental conditions there. 
the search for life in our own solar system will also play a crucial role in the coming decades. Probes equipped with drills will fly to the icy moons, such as Enceladus and Europa. These fully automated drilling systems will penetrate thick layers of ice and release floating probes with cameras into the ocean suspected to be beneath. If we find life in these subsurface oceans, the probability that there are life forms on numerous exoplanets increases significantly. K2-18b is not the only exoplanet currently in the spotlight of exoplanet research. There are numerous other exoplanets that are also promising for the search for extraterrestrial life. One such exoplanet is TRAPPIST-E-1e, located in a system with seven Earth-like planets. TRAPPIST-1e lies in the habitable zone of its cool dwarf star, meaning that liquid water could exist on its surface. With its rocky nature and the potential existence of a dense atmosphere, TRAPPIST-1e will soon be closely studied by the James Webb Space Telescope. If we find further biomarkers here, it would be a significant breakthrough for the scientific community. Another main target in the search for life in distant star systems is the Kepler-186 system. Kepler-186f, in particular, has aroused the interest of scientists. It is the first Earth-sized planet discovered in the habitable zone of another star. With similar dimensions to Earth, Kepler-186f could have liquid water on its surface. Another promising exoplanet is LHS-1140b, located in the habitable zone of a red dwarf star. With its high density and potentially dense atmosphere, LHS-1140b offers another opportunity to learn more about the habitability of planets in other star systems. Proxima Centauri b, the nearest Earth-like planet, orbits a small and comparatively faint star. Proxima Centauri b is quite close to its star but still lies within the habitable zone. For a long time, it was considered the hottest candidate for a super-Earth in space. However, it was later discovered that Proxima Centauri emits frequent and strong bursts of radiation towards its planet, which may be very damaging. Despite these observations, researchers have not completely lost sight of this world. A special privately funded research project aims to send tiny nanospacecraft to this system, just over full light years away, within the next 20 years. If successful, we could see real images of the surface of an exoplanet for the first time. The potential for discovering life on K2-18b and other exoplanets opens up exciting possibilities for future research and exploration. By continuing to refine our techniques and develop new technologies, we can hope to gain a better understanding of these distant worlds. Whether through advanced telescopes, innovative space probes, or laboratory simulations, each step brings us closer to answering the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe. As we continue our search, it's essential to remain open to the various scenarios and forms of life that might exist. Life on K2-18b could be vastly different from anything we know on Earth, possibly adapting to its unique environment in ways we can only begin to imagine. The discovery of even the simplest forms of life on another planet would be a monumental shift in our understanding of the universe and our place within it. In addition to scientific research, public interest and support are crucial in driving these efforts forward. The fascination with exoplanets and the potential for discovering extraterrestrial life captivates the imagination of people worldwide. This collective curiosity and enthusiasm can help fuel the resources and innovation needed to push the boundaries of our exploration. The journey to uncover the mysteries of K2-18b and other exoplanets is just beginning. With each discovery, we gain new insights into the potential for life beyond Earth. By continuing to advance our technology and expand our understanding, we move closer to the day when we might finally answer one of humanity's most profound questions. The exploration of K2-18b and other promising exoplanets is a testament to our enduring quest for knowledge and the limitless possibilities that lie beyond our home planet.